Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do OMAC, issue number one from DC Comics, made by Dan Didio, Keith Giffen, who uh, recently passed away, rest in peace, and Scott Goblish. So this is the, from the New 52 timeline. Uh, the original uh, OMAC was just a boy or a man with a mohawk, and they are just, well, uh, completely redesign him because, well, the new timeline, the new 52 did a lot of new re redesigns. And uh, OMAC stands for One Man Army Corps. Um, or Corp. Um, so, and that's basically all I know. It's a Jack Kirby creation. Um, and it, it's been featured through DC Universe and DC History a lot through the years. Uh, also, not long ago, uh, OMAC was featured uh, in the Batman comics or vice versa. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, that was something, right? And um, yeah, so I picked this up and see if it's, you know, we're going to check it out. Um, so we begin at Project Cadmus. Now, what is Project Cadmus? Uh, it's a scientific research center near Metropolis. Um, and it has also a lot of history in Superman comics and, and, and DC comics in general, right? So this woman here called Jody Robbins, she's an assistant director, environmental research and development person. And she's looking for Kevin Coe. And um, so this, this, the other guy, Tony J, is the manager. And um, she, uh, she's a little bit angry because, I don't know, he stood her up for, I don't know, for lunch. And um, so they are, uh, you know, having fun with each other or talking to each other. Then the alarm goes off, right? And then, oh no, there's something happened. So all these personnel comes in, right? And... Um, and something's bursting into the, the room, and they are, this looks very Kirby-like. So Keith Giffen was also, um, he's not a Kirby clone, he has his own style, but a lot of what he is drawing reminds me of Kirby, and it, it, it's in here too. Um, a lot of designs and, you know, the, you know facial expressions, uh, big mouths, big bulky hands with fingers and all that stuff, the way that they are shooting, the poses... It's, it's a lot of Kirby, and I, I just, just like that. Uh, so, yeah, Omek enters the building. and um, But what is he doing here? Is he, uh, what is his purpose? Well, I don't know. And uh, so he throws this rock bricks wall um, towards these, these people. And, yeah. But there's a voice. Nicely done. Now that they are no longer a concern... I need you to focus your attention on me. I said, wait, what? Is this a, some kind of a joke? And, uh, but no. So this computer generated AI thingy is talking to him. The Chromus mainframe, the Cadmus mainframe, you are to, uh, you are here to find it and take me to it. I've mapped up the routes to the lower levels, uploading it to you now. Uploading. So he just breaks in, right? And, um, the other says, hey, let's go. Let's, let's get you out of here now. No, not without Kevin. I don't know where he is. Kevin! Now he looks back. Well, well, you probably know what's going on. Um, so, yeah, outside, this, this guy who was the director, um, I believe vice president, um, he's calling. He's, of course, the situation is critical. Katma's security has been breached. And I'm hearing things, right? The lower levels has been compromised. How the hell am I supposed to know? We kept the sublab secret for 90% of our staff. And then, um, I don't know, this guy comes in and he says, um, Hey, things must be bad. Teacher's pet just got blown up. Must you always be an ass? Of course, I'm good at, at it. Um, what do you say? We find the closest bar and wait this out. I'm not moving until I find Kevin. He's got to be around somewhere. So, I don't know. This girl's probably very popular. And then um, these all these guys hitting on her, right? Uh, meanwhile, speaking of Kirby's designs and art, this is below Cadmus, right? One mile beneath the surface rests the true Cadmus project, a labyrinth of tunnels and labs designed to push genetic experimentation to limits beyond mortal comprehension. Its inhabitants, as strange as the science and they practice, Lord Makari, we had the communication from the chief administrator. He is not pleased. Nor should he be. Those fools all above have allowed some intruders to threaten this facility. It is up to us to ensure he goes no further. So, Lord uh, Makari, 
He is a new god, comes from, uh, not Genesis, but from Apocalypse. Uh, I'm not sure what his role is, but he's, he's mostly like an evil scientist, but I believe he is now working for Project Cadmus. He's always involved in this kind of stuff. I mean, I like, I like evil geniuses, right? And, um, and he also to, uh, talks to du Dubelex. Dubelex is another Kirby creation. I'm going to talk about him a little bit later, right? Um, my dear, look at all files and samples in the DNA library. One can never be too sure. Nervous? Let's say just cautious. I have no doubt our defenses will hold. Really? Uh, so yeah, Omak comes in and uh, this, this computer woman talks to him. The mainframe lies directly ahead. Be prepared for any opposition. So yeah, uh, Dubelex is here and he says, you shall not pass. Now, D uh, Dubelex is a creation that's been experimented on with humans and other life forms. Let, let's leave it at that. And uh, he's also a Project Cadmus project. And he has telepathic and uh, telekinetic abilities. He was also involved with Superboy, you know, back in the 90s when, you know, the real Superboy, the clone from Superman and Lex Luthor, right? Anyway, but that's another, another story. Um, so he uses his telepathic ability to stop him, but also reveal his secrets, right? So I sense your past, your presence, born of both man and machine. There is so much pain. And there's also another mind. He's learning too much. Stop him. And he's been taken out by Omak. And Omak is running through these soldiers and it looks really cool. So the voice says, I was once part of the system. What was cast out to get back in? I required a weapon. And you are that weapon. Right? So he is uh, now here. And everybody's panicking. And now this is cool. Right? So... This is beyond belief. How can a creature like this ex ex uh, exist outside the walls of Cadmus? How can it have so much power? There's only one way to find out. What you name is a woman's touch. And must, all, must I always remind everybody, I'm not just a pretty face. I'm a builder friend and you are no friend of mine. Now, this is classic Kirby. He did that a lot. I remember um, um, Fantastic Four. With the thinker, he had robots. He also had, you know, those these kind of weapons coming out of the mouths of their, their creations and shooting everybody. It just looks great. I mean, I miss that. Those those designs, those imaginary thing that leaves people, uh, you know, wondering what's going on and what happens next, right? Lord Macari will enjoy dissecting you. So you can be hurt, she says, and you destroyed. What a shame. She was one of my favorite. Goblus tear the flesh and circuits from his bone, but save me a sample. His DNA could be useful. I mean, look at these designs. Classic Kirby that poses big mouths, you know, creatures with weird designs. <laughs> it looks just great. So they are attacking um, Omak, but Omak pushes back, right? And uh, it just looks great, man. I can look at all these designs for, for, for well, not hours, but a long time. And uh, yeah, he just rips a complete wall, you know, a machinery from the wall and, and, and pulverize them. I sense the mainframe is close. And, and then... <laughs> wow! 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 Look at this! Remember when I told you guys always that when, uh, when people do splash pages or double spread or double splash it should wow people well this is it this is this is what wows me this is what i said hey man look at these all these details this machinery getting ripped apart you know all these small things also in the background and here all these explosions and 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 you know fluids and this guy's drowning almost it's so cool in an unimaginable display of raw strength and power oh my tears for through the final obstacle in his way. In a moment, I will gain access to the wealth of information stored in these walls. Once I unite with these systems, we can never be parted. I will not be denied. And even in this panel, man, look at this. All these, these small things with all these Kirby crackles. 
The cat must mainframe. Oh, I have missed you. Communication ports are blocked. So he rips it away. Look, look, look at that. It's all these small things. Machinery inside of the pipes. And uh, I also basically props up to the colorist as well. I mean, um, I, I complain a lot about modern Photoshop guy. Um, this is this is the, what I mean with good good coloring. It's it's um, it's coloring the things that it needs to be colored. It doesn't go oh let's do this red, but then does this red too, and here is most red, but then more red here, right? And it's just then it's become a bucket of digital paint with all these. Photoshop effects. That's not in here. It's just this pants needs to be red. This is a yellow. This has to be some kind of a Kirby crackle with haze and purple. And then we have all this blue. And it sticks behind these, you know, lines where it should be. Right? It doesn't go outside and, and throws all these weird effects around it. It just it looks cool. Yeah, it looks absolutely cool. Uh, so yeah, Omac um, then connects with the mainframe. And there's some kind of a power surge. I can sense everything. Contact with Cadmus has been reestablished. Every Cadmus file is open to me. It is best we take our leave. Security is closing in. Your mission is complete. You may have escaped, creature, but this is far from over. And then, oh no, who's this guy? What am I? What is going on? I was in my office. Where is it? Why aren't I in my office? And then he gets a phone call. Hello? Kevin Cole. You signed well. I was concerned the transformation would leave you disoriented. Disoriented? The last thing I remember, I was being in a man's room, for God's sake. Who are you? What do you want from me? And then the big reveal is... I am Brother I, and you and I have much to talk about. But first, call your girlfriend. She's worried about you. Oh man, brother eyes back in a picture. <laughs> and he also says uh, that his life, uh, Kevin's life is his now. Yeah, uh, like, let's say I, I like this. Look, look at this cosmos, all these planets and suns. And it's just, like I said, it just brings me back to, to, to days when I have so much fun looking at all these crazy, incredible art from Jack Kirby, right? And all these people that you know, doing stuff like this. It's just amazing, man. I just really like it. So for me, this brings um, back wonder and excitement. It is, excited, it is excited to look at, and it has a lot of mystery, um, and that's what I like, wonder and mystery, right? And then with, you know, with this this new Omic iteration. So I'm not sure if it's, you know, continuously being good, but we're going to find out. I believe it's only eight issues, and we're going to do a... Well, we're going to do all of them. So, guys, let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel and all the jazz. See you next time. Bye-bye.